welcome back to us and I have an idea. It is the 18th of November. Can you believe how quickly this month has gone by? We have 12 days left of November to finish this thing. How are you guys doing since we only have about 12 days left? Are you still maintaining the goals? Are you meeting that daily 1667? Are you falling behind a little bit? No matter where you're at, you are doing a wonderful job. Even if you are falling behind, there is still lots of time to get to the 50k by the end of the month. And if you don't end up succeeding, it's not the end of the world. What we're doing here is meant to be fun. We're writing novels or stories or poems or writing whatever you want to just to get to the 50k just to have fun. If you intend on publishing, that's fabulous. Right now though, it is meant to be fun. So hopefully you are finding some enjoyment in your writing. I've already completed all of my writing for today. So before I jump into what I've written, let's cue the clips of me and putting all of my words both into Scrivener and onto the NaNoWriMo website. That's a pretty nice word count for today. 1719 words altogether. I will take it. At this point, I feel like, you know, the drill, we're gonna paste and match style. And there we go, all the new words are in. There we go, those words do match up again today. It equals up to 1719. So we hit the daily word goal. We are trudging along to that 50K. There we go. As you can see, it's 1111. Ooh, it's an angel number. But now we gotta put our words on to the NaNoWriMo website. So let's go. So we were at 17, 19 for today. Feeling really great about it. And as per usual, there we go. The words have been added. We're still doing good. I feel like this is probably the most accurate out of all. Well, I mean, obviously the words are accurate, but the night owl, because I do tend to write at night or at least update at the very end of the day, that is accurate. Where I write, at home. My writing speed, uh, I haven't done any sprints on the NaNoWriMo website, so obviously there's nothing there. What do you mean, how do I feel? I have answered this every day. I feel great. <laughs> okay, but it looks like I will be done early, and that's the day before my birthday. So, we're looking good. Everything is progressing as per usual. Today, I started where I left off yesterday. Over the past couple of days, I've been working on a brand new chapter, which I'm writing out of order now, so I don't know exactly which chapter it is, but I started writing it a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I finished up the first scene, so the first little bit, and today I picked up right at the end of that scene. There's a little bit of a time jump in between that scene and the scene I was working on today, so I tried to figure out how to connect the two and make them quite seamless, and it turned out quite well. It took me a while to figure out exactly how I was going to connect the two, but since it's taking place in the same location, just a couple hours apart, it was relatively easy for me to figure out a convenient way to make everything wrap up and tie in nicely. The main issue that I've been struggling with today, at least, well, the past couple of days really, is my scene that I'm working on is a holiday scene. It's set around Christmas where the main character goes home essentially for Christmas and the entire scene and the following couple of chapters will take place over the holidays. The thing I've been struggling with is does this seem and read like a Hallmark movie? <laughs> I am obsessed with Hallmark movies. Last year I had a Hallmark movie countdown. I've loved them. I have not watched a single one yet this year. I am trying to hold off for a while but I feel like this is starting to read a little bit like a Hallmark movie and I'm trying very hard not to. Basically, the main character, the successful businesswoman from a big city, goes back home for the holidays. It's the beginning of a Hallmark movie. It really is. And I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. So what I've been doing is trying to figure out a way to make it not read like a Hallmark movie. And how do I do that? That is the thing that's been plaguing my thoughts. Have I been achieving it so far? Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't read like that. So we'll see. Any tips out there on how to not make a Christmas scene feel like a Hallmark movie? Please let me know in the comments down below. I could use all the help I could get. The entire book is not based on this one Christmas scene in particular. It's just one set of chapters that will fall under that time era and then the rest of it will move on. We will see a huge shift later on in the, the book that has nothing to do with Christmas. It's just a small small section. Uh, but since it's early on in the book, it kind of feels that way right now. I've thought about changing it, but the scene just works so well set at Christmas time in the hometown setting. I think it's just so sweet and convenient and it really ties in this new character that I introduced with this version of, I guess, the second draft. 
So it works and I'm trying to make it work and it's just a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But that's creative writing for you. Nothing's as easy as it initially sets out to be. All right, I'm gonna go go to bed and get some sleep for the big birthday. I will see you tomorrow and until then, happy writing. Bye!